garlic bread grilled cheese. Let's do it. Texas toast. Butter. Gotta be American sliced cheese for a grilled cheese. At least in my world. Garlic powder. This is going to be so good. Oh. I love garlic, I love cheese, I love bread, I love butter. What's not to like? So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to butter our first slice of bread. I've got our frying pan over there heating up. Cranked it up pretty high. Now, I'm not just going to cake this butter on there. Just a very thin coat like that. See, it's not caked anywhere. If I see it caked, I wipe it on off. Garlic powder. Let's see if I have any... I don't think I have. Oh, yes, I do. We're going to add a little bit of parsley. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Take our slice that we buttered. Now the second piece, I'm going to use about that much. Oh well, we'll add a little bit more. Roast up is in my mouth. Flip our bread over. This is our other slice of bread, by the way. Thin, 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 thin on the butter. If you like a lot of butter, pile it on there. Add it to the top. More garlic powder. I gotta leave that this back up. Parsley. Oh, it smells so good. Smell that garlic already. Turn this down to medium now. I've got it turned up pretty high. I definitely don't want to burn it. Let's see what it's looking like. It's getting there. Almost there. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Should have left it another about a minute, probably. But. Oh, gosh. I wish y'all could smell this. Oh, 
this smells delicious. Gotta have some sweet tea. Almost there, y'all. <clears throat> Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my gosh. It sure does smell good. Oh. There it is. Careful or run out everywhere. And to go with it, some of our homemade pickles. Oof. I don't know if y'all don't hear how crunchy these are, but I made these pickles a month ago. And if you listen to some people, I'll tell you, there's no way these pickles will still be crunchy. Mm. Oh my god. I gotta make some more pickles. Mm. Oh, damn, they were. Sorry, those are good. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Oh, yes. Y'all remember these? My first batch, quick pickles. Now, I made the second batch, which is what these are. These have been sitting in the refrigerator for about right out a month, so 30 days. Haven't been touched. I just opened these, I think the day before yesterday. These are by far the best. And the reason they're the best is because they sat in there for a month untouched. These taste better, even better than the first batch I made and that's because the other ones we tore into pretty quickly you need to let them sit for a month if you can turn my light on now then look at that mm. holy moly If you love garlic bread like I do, and you love grilled cheese like I do, you gotta try this. You don't have to use Texas toast. I just love it. It's perfect for grilled cheeses and BLTs and whatever. Now, if I'm just making a regular old ham sandwich or turkey sandwich, I just use, you know, plain old loaf bread. Um... But this is phenomenal for especially anything to do with garlic. Get you some butter. Slather it on. You don't have to use a lot of garlic powder. But just a little, you know, thin coating of garlic powder. I added a little bit of parsley just for some color. Um, there you go. And the pickles you made to go with it. Mm. Simple, fills you up. That's probably the perfect lunch. Garlic, grilled cheese, and our homemade pickles. Give it a try, y'all. Thank you for watching. 
See you later.